from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. Hey, day two of November doing just fine right now, but by the time we get to day four, it's going to be a little interesting. Tomorrow is kind of a transition day. Some of the moisture is starting to show up across the high plains, but the main part of the storm system still is out to the west of us, so we'll squeeze in one more good day tomorrow. But as that system moves across the Rockies, big snows across the Rockies, and that would include northern portions of New Mexico. So if you're a skier, you're going to go, hmm, that's not so bad. Get a little good base going right now early in the season. That would be very welcome. One to two feet of snow as possible in some of the higher elevations. We're going to be more focused on the severe weather threat. That's going to be late tomorrow night, really early Friday morning. Strong to severe thunderstorms breaking out in the Texas Panhandle into northwestern Oklahoma. That's going to be associated with the storm system as it starts to push out onto the plains. Now, if you probably noticed today, there were some clouds, so moisture is on the increase from out of the Gulf of Mexico, something we haven't had much of over the course of the last uh, four months. Uh, but that moisture will continue to be pushed further north, kind of a conveyor belt, and they'll be running into this storm system and potential dry lines. So we'll have strong thunderstorms in the morning across Kansas. And then we'll just kind of see what happens here in western Oklahoma because as we go through the day, that starts to push further to the east. So by the time we get to about noon, there could be some scattered showers breaking out around the Tulsa area and some scattered strong to severe thunderstorms in south central Oklahoma down into Texas. Texas and southern Oklahoma are the most likely areas to get really probably the biggest severe weather emphasis uh, placed on them. Uh, but we're still going to have a few of these storms we're going to have to be watching as we go through late afternoon hours into the evening hours. About this time tomorrow night, most of the thunderstorms will be from Tulsa to the east as they continue to track north. And then a few of these cells we're going to have to watch, see if they're rotating and potential for a tornado could be embedded in that. Otherwise, there could be a hail cell or two and then wind with some of those storms and then that'll be pushing out after about six to seven o'clock some of our models are saying it'll be here through seven to eight but again primarily by the time we get to nine it'll be out of Tulsa and should be starting to push into Arkansas by 10 o'clock and again that's one of the reasons the high school football games a lot of them were moved to tomorrow night instead of Friday because Friday afternoon into the evening strong to a few severe thunderstorms the highest probabilities will be in Texas as I said and South Central and southeastern Oklahoma, but still there's going to be something that'll happen here and we'll have to be watching for that. Meantime, our best chance of rain, not just severe weather, but I'm going to look for rain, will be tomorrow afternoon, I should say on Thursday. Okay, we'll try it one more time. On Friday afternoon, I'm getting excited apparently. Tomorrow afternoon's calm, but on Friday afternoon, we're going to end up with chances of thunderstorms diminishing pretty rapidly after about 7 o'clock. And again, low risk on most things, but there could be some strong winds associated with that line of storms as they move through. So we are going to have to be aware of what's going on with that. Also, the rain amounts, this is the latest update. We're looking for the heaviest rains of 2 inches or more, mainly east of Highway 69 again. So you guys have a little bit higher probability of heavier rains. And most of us from I-35 to the east will see about a half inch to an inch. And then the further east you go, the heavier the amounts go, as I said, from Highway 69, which is pretty much located in this zone. So we'll see if anything can slow down. As far as the weekend's concerned, if you have outdoor plans, some fall activity, putting up Christmas lights, you don't have to turn them on. You just want to put them up while they're mild weather and you don't have just frozen knuckles. Uh, temperatures are going to be in the 70s and on Sunday afternoon. Gorgeous weather for the weekend. Beautiful fall weather. And the overall emphasis is going to be for colder weather as we start to get closer uh, to Veterans Day. And so we're going to kind of switch over a little bit. So the mild weather is going to go through next week. But the interesting thing is we're going to be kind of close to some rain, maybe a little bit better chance of rain than normal. So we'll We'll see how that all plays out. All is relatively quiet right now. We're at 67 degrees. Looks like it should be a pleasant evening across the area with temperatures in the 60s. Don't forget tomorrow night, big high school games. The wind will be blowing, but the temperatures incredibly mild in the 70s for all those games that are going to be played. And here's a look at the next nine days. Best chance of rain. Heaven knows we'll take it on Friday, even though there are high school football games still being played that night, majority in Thursday. And then we have awesome weather for much of next week. And daylight saving time, by the way, arrives on Sunday morning, or leaves, I should say, on Sunday morning. We get to fall back one hour.